Hello everyone. In this tutorial, I will be covering how to create a toggleable button in Excel. Here in my Excel spreadsheet, I have a toggleable button created using different shapes. When I click on the button, the button will display on and off. Now let's look at how we can create the toggleable button. All right, here in my Excel workbook, I already list out the shape property information. On the top, click on Insert tab. Then click on Shapes. Choose Rounded Rectangle, then draw a shape on the worksheet. Click on the shape, right-click, Format Shape. On the Format Shape window, expand Fill Property Group. Click on Solid Fill, and choose a background color. Next expand line property group. Click gradient line, pick the color stops to apply to the shadow. Change the angle degree to 270. For the line width, I will set that to 3 point. While the shape is still selected, click on the name field, change the name to toggle button. Click Insert tab, Shapes, select Circle Shape. Draw a circle shape on top of the rounded shape object, right next to the left boundary. Make sure you leave a little bit of space. Change the background color to solid white. Under Line Property Group, select Gradient Line. Change angle degree to 270, then change the stop color to apply to the shadow. Set the line width to 3 point. To insert the label, click on Insert tab, then click on Text box. Select Draw Horizontal Text box. Draw a text box inside the rounded shape object. Set background to no fill. Then set line to no line. Set the label font size to 32 point. For the label text, I will type on left align the text. Then set the vertical alignment to center. Next I will change label color to white and bold the text. Select the text box, change the named range name to text box on off. Next, select the circle shape object, change the named range name to radio button. Now we are done creating the interface. The next step is to write the VBA code to create the toggle animation. On the Developer tab, click on Visual Basic. Click on this workbook. Right-click, Insert a new module. Create a sub called Toggle Button. Go back to the worksheet. Select a cell you want to insert the toggle value. In the selected cell, change the named range name to Toggle Value, then type True in the cell. Go back to the VBA editor. I am going to declare a worksheet variable called WS. Next create the worksheet object.
Here I will insert a with worksheet object statement. Inside the with statement, I will type if dot range toggle value dot value is equal to true else and if. For the toggle on condition, I will type dot range toggle value dot value equals false. As for the toggle off condition, I will type dot range toggle value dot value equals true. Going back to the toggle on block, I will set the text box label to off when a user click on the button. And I will do the reverse for the toggle off condition. Next we will update the label text box alignment. Here I will change toggle button's background color. Then update radio button location. We are almost finished with this tutorial. The last thing we need to do is to add the toggle button macro to the shapes. And guys, we are done. Alright, this is everything I have for this tutorial. Thank you guys for sticking around. Don't forget to subscribe and give the video a like. See you guys on the next video.